Hello everyone, now let's talk about curl. So curl is a small computer utility which is used for transferring data from various protocols. So with the help of curl, we can send a request and we can see its response. It's just like a command line browser. So inside the curl, there is one library called as libc curl, which is responsible for requesting a resource and retrieving the data. And with the help of curl, we can also do SSL certification verification. And the curl also supports cookies, HTTP, HTTPS protocol, Gopher protocol, and so on. So if you don't know what is Gopher, so Gopher is a protocol which is being used before HTTP protocol for requesting a resource, but nowadays it's not used. So with the help of curl, we can also send a HTTP request by using different HTTP methods. Now let's see how curl works. Now let's see how we can use curl. So in order to start curl, we have to start our Kali Linux because curl is pre-built installed in Kali Linux. So in order to start curl, we have to start our terminal. And here you can see that right now I'm inside my Kali Linux instance. And just write down here curl, followed by the website name. of which you home you want to connect and transfer the data or you want to fetch some data and if I hit enter you can see here that it has fetched all the HTML content of this website. So by default if we make any request to any of the website the by default HTTP method used by curl is get. Now what if if we want to send a particular request by using different HTTP method. Is there any way to do that? Yes. So how we can do that? Just write down here curl hyphen v. So hyphen v is for verbose mode means for detailed information. And here we have to write down hyphen capital X and followed by the HTTP method we want to use in this request. So let's request that modern Indian babies dot com by using head request so hyphen x head head is a http method which is used to fetch the data but only the header information and if i enter here you can see the header information the head request with http 1.1 and user agent is curl and here you can see the server information along with the PHP version number and SSL information. Okay, now let me give you one scenario. Just for example, we want to make a curl request to a particular website, but there is a redirection on that domain. Just for example, if I just write here curl google.com and hit enter, you can see here that it's saying 302 moved and we all know that 302 response code is actually for the redirection now what if if any of the website contains this kind of a redirection that how we can actually fetch some data by using curl so just write down curl and write hyphen l capital l and any website name now what will happen is if the curl will see that there is a redirection then curl will actually redirect to that redirection or the curl will follow the redirection and if I hit enter now you can see the actual content or the HTML data including some JavaScript and some scrap data of the google.com. So now as a pen tester there might be some situation in which we want to store all the HTML content in a particular file, in a particular text file for our future use and for our future reference. Then in order to save the curl data in an, any of the text file, we can specify hyphen O method, hyphen O parameter. Here you can see curl hyphen O, hyphen O is for the output file space, the file name. Like I want to store the data inside curl.txt followed by the website name. And if I hit enter, here you can see that it has stored and received the data. And now if I do ls, 
Here you can see the file named as curl.txt has been created. Now let's see that what's inside this file. And here you can see the entire HTML content. So this was the quick short introduction of curl that how we can use curl, how we can send a different different HTTP method request by using curl. So thanks for watching this video.